looking at my seat belt and buckle. Um, so there's the original one. It does not look like the um, one in that picture. Let's see. So that's what it looks like. Let me see if I can get a picture of that. spares unfortunately that I can dissect I only have these so uh, I came out the other day um, and I was looking at them and it looks like Maybe you can bend, you have to, if you can stick a screwdriver in there, that little space right there, but you bend, you start bending the metal, and it's like, <laughs> I don't really want to bend them, you know. Okay, um, Wednesday, December 24th, 2020, so I was able to... Just um, pry up on these ends right here and pop them out and get them over this lip right here, and that's all it took. So I haven't, I haven't, ta haven't taken this cover off, but I just wanted to show how these covers come off. So there was a gap on this side and there was like no gap on this side so what I did is I pried I didn't pry I just pushed on this side of the cover with something soft like this piece of baseboard and just pushed it over and it opened up the gap right there and I was able to pry that up and then I kind of did the same thing over here there's enough so I just got in there. So this little tool is very thin. So it allows me to sort of get in a real small area. So I'm going to take the cover off and I think I may videotape that. I can. Okay. So I'm just going to continue to sort of fry that up. So there's two little tangs in here. I need to come forward after I clear this. Push forward. And that's it. There it is. There's the little guy. Interesting.
<laughs> Sorry. If I don't hit the screen, the stupid camera doesn't focus. So there's the little Fisher button. And it looks just like the one that they sell it at National Parts Depot for 20 bucks. Except the one in the picture looks a lot bigger than this one. So I th I'm going to try to do is I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint this and just take something in. Because that's kind of brassy. And then just wipe the paint off of the coat. Instead of replacing these, so I'll just use the original button. And then I'm going to um, I'll clean these up. Clean all the grunge off of them. Maybe lube them. And then I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna see if I can do something with this cover. Just need to polish it up. So I'm gonna take the, take some red. See how much damage I can do. Okay, so it's uh, Thursday. December 24th, 2020. So, um, here's the first pass. Let me see, let me turn this light out, maybe, I don't know. Um, huge improvement, huge improvement. So, I started just rubbing with this and then I move to this this is 800 so that's the way to go so I have a couple of small scratches one there that I need to work on there's one there I need to work on and that's about it for this one and that kind of polishes it out and then to get the brushed look you just with this now this i think i'm going to forego buying new ones i i think that i'm going to stick with these this is really nice like brass so this is good quality metal i don't know what that aftermarket shit is it's looking at the coach it looked like it was uh, kind of a I don't know it looked almost yellowy brown kind of they, they did have quite a bit of detail but not like this so I want to do this one so I'm going to Experiment a little bit, clean this one up, get the rust out, paint it, and then see what I can do with it. That's, that's original stuff, man. Five, four. It looks like a B. Maybe it's an eight. Five four eight. Uh, this one doesn't have yeah, this one has a part number two. This is um I think it's five nine three. Five nine three. And this is Five four eight. Keep going. 
Okay, so here's the plan after looking at the options here. I could objective is to get this painted. The coach is actually a medallion or emblem that's not part of this. So it's just got a couple of pins. So I'm going to grind down this and pop this off, coach off of here and then paint this, finish it and pop the coach back on because if you look at the coach it's not um, see it's brass all the way around just the edges it's not black so it wasn't painted you know it's just pressed on after these little metal pieces and then the, this was just you know mushroomed or something. So I'm gonna go that route instead of trying to paint it with the coach on it. I think it would be a lot nicer. It look really sharp with it done correctly. Okay, so that did work. Um, the coach came right off. So it's just, you know, a couple of pins. And I tapped him out and he came right off. So I'm going to Paint this. Um, in fact, what I should probably do is um, get the passenger belt and do this all at the same time. I'm very happy to not have to try to paint. all around this coach. It's a pretty cool coach. It even has a an F right there. A little Fisher for Fisher. Fisher body. Right there. It's cool. So I wanted to take a, <clears throat> so these are the rear seat, seat belts. Um, and they're not in too bad a shape, they just need to be um, restored. These are actually Hamel model 122s and these are March 8th of 67. Very 
is the brother. This is a model 20. Um, A, B, C, D, E, 5, May 3rd of 67. So I don't know if these are a match set. Came out of the same car. I don't know. This is a model 20, 120. This is a model 122. Um, the fronts, uh, I forget what the model number is, or the fronts, the fronts are model, model 107. Huh. Interesting. So here's the difference in what they're going to look like. I like this one better. Cool. They look really sharp. So it's um, Friday, December 25th, uh, Christmas Day, and I've got the buttons painted, um, one button has a little spot that I'm going to try to, they've been slowly been like filling in with paint, the, you know, the surface of the, the buttons. So they're coming, they're coming along really good. I'm going, um, semi-gloss rather than satin and the covers are just outstanding. I mean, the covers came out like, holy cow. Um, the little coach, let's see, it's, it was the it was a passenger one, like this one. It's the driver. Yeah, the little passenger coach. Um, Came out really good. We got all filled in with black paint, and I'll go over that when I put this one together. But it came out really good, so I'm really happy with the way things came out. I mean, these covers are like amazing. So tomorrow I'll probably put them back together.